This is the hottest sauce from the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. It is 2.5 million Scoville units or about 5,000 times hotter than Frank's Red Hot. Why does that matter for an Elden Ring challenge? Because today we're simulating the Hot Ones experience by adding a bit of sauce for every boss. And every time I die, I'll have to eat a very spicy wing. Should be easy enough. I simply won't die. To watch these runs live, follow us on Twitch. We're finding new ways to spice up Elden Ring all the time. Join the Patreon if you want to support the channel. It's where we get to keep the most of the money. And make sure you like and subscribe. I don't think we'll hit 100k subscribers before the end of the year. But if we do, I'll just take a raw dab of the hot sauce for a YouTube short. How's that sound? Now let's get spicy with today's run. This run actually starts before we started streaming. I tried to get some footage, but y'all, we made buffalo sauce. If you don't know how, it's stupid easy. One cup Frank's Red Hot hot sauce, half a stick of butter. Of course, that's gonna thin things out and make them a little less spicy, but uh, <laughs> this is gonna be plenty spicy. We'll get things over the freebie of the Apollo sauce in the mix, but come to our first obstacle. Hello? The sauce is pretty solid at the top. Had to get a knife and scoop out a bit, but I didn't get all that much. It's fine, because gamers, I'm not smart. While I never count the jump in Limgrave as a death, I will count it for a wing, because, come on, you want to see me eat some wings, right? And I want to establish a baseline. Here's where the stupid comes in. I didn't mix the sauce. So when I dip the wing in, we just get a bit of the raw Apollo. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, okay. Mm. If I needed any motivation to not die, this was it. Limgrave time. Let's keep living. Crafting kit and horse. Both are very important. Crafting kit lets us make our own hot wings in the game later to get more XP from the bosses and level properly without too much grinding. And the horse lets us run past the mobs that would love to ruin my streak of unstreaked boxers from the hottest poop of my life. Third Church of America. We get the hot sauce bottle we'll use to craft some very hot sauce pretty early. It should never take more than an hour to get the physic flask. Definitely not more than eight. Trust me, if you think Think this week's video is painful just wait till you see next week's if we get it done on time gotta do a bit of grave robbing to afford some important stuff then get a few stones lying around on the ground before we make our way to the merchant and i don't think the dog that bit me should get put down Okay, here's the good news. We haven't beat any bosses yet and probably scraped up a lot of the hottest sauce that was in there with the last wing. This time I remembered to mix it up and evolved the technique. We're using a fork and boneless wings. That way we don't get sauce on our fingers, sauce on the controller, sauce in our eyes, sauce everywhere. I dedicated this one to a true hero. This one goes out to Henry Kissinger. RIP, that stands for rest and piss. I hope you fucking burn in hell, dude. Going back, we get the spiked cestus and some heavier pants. Then, the little hot wing, a foul foot in the game, and punch the dragon's toes. I know people have been asking me when I'll start making spicy content, and here I am, making spicy content with a bad dragon. Google, Tulok, spicy content, bad dragon, on your work computer to find out more. Obviously, with those free levels, we're gonna invest in damage. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Pump that vigor, baby. Catch Flame is gonna be a thematic tool for the run, and we already have the casting stats for it. Hell, we already have the spell since we we started off as a prophet, but we can even get some stuff for decent damage early game without having to spend early levels on our faith. Get another hot wing and then do some more grave robbing on the way to the Weeping Peninsula. The grave robbing really doesn't hit the same in Limgrave like it does in the Dragon Barrel. Makes sense, that's a late game area we teleported to 15 minutes in. Lots of great stuff in the Weeping Peninsula. Early game field trips here will fill your flasks up with milk. Is that on theme for this run? Lord knows. Oh, he needs some milk. Golden Seed, Sacred Tier, but most importantly, the Faith Tier. It'll take our Faith from 16 to 26 when we haven't invested in it at all. Then two more Sacred Tiers to help healing that chonky health bar. Right on up to Ilernia. Hey, another one, why not? Then two fingers in a hole. If you're putting two fingers in a hole, gamers, wash your hands first. If you have a drop of this hot sauce on your fingers, it is Jover for you. Welcome to the four Biden lands. So why risk the bridge jump if getting goofed by the Elden Ring gravity means we would eat a spicy wing? Well, 
I mean, come on. We don't want to go through this whole thing without eating the wings, right? It goes fine. Warp be warp, we're in the Bellum Church for another sacred tier, then pop down to the Raya Lucaria Crystal Cave. Elemental damage is really good against the Stone Diggers. We're gonna grab a bunch of regular Smithing Stones to level up the seal here. This won't be our end game seal, but until we can hit 40 faith, it's the best option. The Crystallion isn't great with elemental damage. What you need is stance pressure and Catch Flame doesn't have a lot of it. Until we break the stance, it has 90% resistance to every damage type, but like, you know, it's the Crystallion. Where are we gonna die to the Crystallion? This is the first boss though, so it's time to add some more spicy content. Figured out how to get the sauce out. We just gotta whack it against the sides of the Tupperware. I just started making spicy content and I'm already whacking it for all of you on camera. Sorry that the angle didn't show my sauce coming out. I'll work on that as I go. Now imagine getting hot and saucy in Fort Height. Just grab the Ductus and get out. Gotta be safer. we eat another wing, and I don't wanna eat another wing. We can level up our seal a bit more, but we have to go to Altus if we want to go even further. Not a problem. Sealed tunnel. They call it that because after you go there and get the bell bearing too, you upgrade your seal. Pretty nice. Putrid avatars are weak to fire damage, so even though we haven't invested any levels in our faith, the plus 12 seal cooks this one. Between the two fingers and the faith talisman though, we do have 31 faith, which is certainly Kaled appropriate. Add some sauce, but also get some hot sauce in the game too, with the flame shroud and cracked tier, raising our fire damage by 20% and just in time for the clean rot knights. Well, we got routed in the abandoned cave first and and just warped back. That's not a death, just a warp. Clean Rot Nighttime, we're using the Flame Sling. It's worse than Catch Flame, but you can throw it and standing next to the Clean Rot Knights is an ideal. We have enough vigor to trade with the second one's discs, but turns out we don't have to. There's a really tight window to get out of the way of the Halo Scythe, but we do it. We really could have traded though. Vigor's just so good. Add a little more sauce to the sauce and use the runes to buy the Knight's set. It's a medium armor, but since we're not carrying a weapon, it doesn't matter that we haven't invested in our endurance we can put it all on. Now we also have decent defense for this point in the run. More importantly, we also have better status resistance from Nerd Juice, who can bleed us down really fast. Catch Flame is fast enough for most bosses, but Nerd Juice is an NPC with a knife. It's actually kind of hard to get off unless he just runs into it. He does run into it a lot, enough that we win before Yura does anything. Yura? Yeah, you're a goddamn joke. I can see why Eleonora is gonna absolutely body you later. Time to get a recipe for wings and who better to fight than the man himself. Hey, what's going on everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. He rolls out of the way of our flame slings so we gotta make him catch these flames. With all his experience eating spicy wings, you'd think he'd handle the heat a little better, but he gets roasted. From his corpse, we get the recipe for in-game hot wings, the gold pickled fowl feet, and three wings in there too. If they're golden, they're probably using a Wax chili, they can get up to 15,000 Skullville, that's kinda hot. Knight's Cavalry time, I know we don't have to fight it and it's gonna add another drop of sauce to the buffalo, but the free runes should be worth it. As long as, I don't know, we don't mess up and get pushed off the cliff while trying to bait it off the cliff. Down the hatch, bon appetit. Four dabs of hot sauce have been added since our last wing and it wasn't so bad. At first, the heat was hidden, mixed in more properly, but that just meant it came later. Things have escalated. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, it takes a second. I knew it took a second. I should have known that it takes a second. Knight's Cavalry thankfully cooperates with us next time, which means we don't have to eat another win, even if we do have to add another dab. We have yet to actually invest in the damage, but Margaret is supposed to be your first boss, or maybe your 79th if you were fighting bosses in order of runes they drop. God, can you imagine beating 78 other bosses before you get a second pocket? Come back next week, it's a rough one. Our damage is still fine. Pop, pop the catch flame, and that's a roasted Margaret. Now that we have the pocket, we can use it for the scarab and a second talisman. Let's go get a good one. Gilka is nice and free, and we've passed the blockage on the sauce, so it's coming out much better now. No whacking required. Let's test out that extra heat against another putrid avatar, a much bigger and badder putrid avatar in the dragon barrel. It's not a problem if it hits harder if you simply don't get hit. This game is so easy. Just hit the enemies and don't get hit. Why doesn't everyone do this all the time? Might seem risky to kill another boss and turn our heat up, but the extra runes are going to stop us from dying. I think it's worth it. There's another easy boss right nearby, but for some reason the weather is not working with us. It's a terrible day for rain. What do you mean? Normally, Grail has 40% fire resistance, but the rain boosts it by 10%. It's kind of miserable. And despite waiting multiple in-game days, it just kept raining. What the hell? Stop. 
we didn't have enough blue juice to get this done and the rain just kept coming. So instead of putting hot sauce on our bad dragon, we'll just beat this meat with our bare hands and some help from the spiked cestus. While the damage is pitiful on its own, there are bleed chunks and they chunk away. Because it's not a spell, we can't run out of it. Look, I know this is a faith build focusing on catch flame and I really thought it was doing well, but the fact that a weapon at plus zero with no stat or talisman investment ends up outperforming catch flame? Is this your king? Huh? Is this your king? We win and add some spice. Now we won't be grinding anymore because any extra bosses are extra sauces and I'd like to avoid the sauces as long as possible. God, it has been far too long since we had a They Might Be Giants needle drop. My main goal as an Elden Ring creator is to expose people to TMBG, I think you should leave, and radical leftist ideals. Just like all those far left universities like Raya Lucaria. They let their mascot be a dog, and this one keeps jumping on us. He probably knows we have chicken wings, and dogs can't eat those. They'll splinter and make them choke. Oh, and this sauce would for sure hurt a dog. I know that because our catch flame hot sauce attack hurts this dog. We could finish off Friar Lucaria, but I'd rather go to Stormvale and run up the danger path. By fighting Godric, we can really spice up our life. And it turns out, it doesn't matter if he gets better fire resistance in phase two, we're just burning that hot. Do you like the spice? It doesn't matter. It's still gonna set your mouth on fire. Look how spicy it was. The dragon is breathing fire like a goddamn cartoon character. Now we can upgrade with Godric's Great Room, which is fantastic. We need Vigor for health, Mind for casting resources, Endurance for equip load, and Faith for damage. Pretty great. Renala time. It's just barely not at one cycle. Tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it didn't even matter. Another round of bonking the kids with the seal, then we cook her. Yeah, by the way, if you're a spellcaster, just bonk the kids. They stay alive and you don't have to chase further, unless you're, you know, unlucky like I am. Phase two is worse. Remember how the fire does less damage on the water? Well, check out the arena. I honestly wasn't sure if we would have enough blue. No big deal. If we run out of magic, we can just switch to a weapon or something. Eh, we don't need to. With enough patience, we get things so hot that not even water can help. Hey, you know why we don't have good damage? We haven't invested in it. Maybe we should level up our faith. Yep. What a concept. But also we should focus on CPS. We just bonked a bunch of kids in the head. Makes sense that someone called, oh no, that stands for casts per second. Let's cast faster. Radigan Icon is pretty rad. It gives you 30 virtual casting dexterity. And if we continue down the path, we'll get even more virtual dexterity. Provided the Burger Kings decide to let us have it our way. Seriously, how many of you need to get flame broiled? Wild. Azura Staff will give us 40 virtual dexterity. And since we're only casting incantations, there's no penalty to the amount of FP we're using. It's all upside. After a bit of grocery shopping, we get some more wings to go party at Radon's house. He asked us to bring something, like a hot dip or something. We brought hot wings, and it's more fun to eat with friends. Except flame sling is just whiffing. We're throwing more balls than a prince with a foot fetish, and we can't land a hit. What a wild ride that metaphor was. It started off with balls, but it wasn't dirty, then finished on a foot fetish. Bummer. Anyway, just use catch flame. If you're using fire monk stuff, use catch flame or O flame. I've heard that's good too. The rest of them are garbage. Catch flame is fast flurious we almost get a one cycle then he lands we just roll back in and get him hot he's already got a tummy ache and you do not want to eat this stuff if you have tummy problems recording this video is not what made it take a while i fought for my life several times between every paragraph of this script speaking of fire in a hole we dipped into radon's and then cooked up another sean evans when will hot ones interview sean evans i feel like he'd be a good guest something tells me he could handle the heat of the wings add more sauce we do it after every boss i promise chat did not let me forget but a high mic forget to mention it every time we kill one in this script against the regal ancestor spirit flame sling works a little better still whiffs the giant moose which is saying something moose are giant already you know they're bigger than a freaking car right this one's bigger than a bigger car metaphor sort of on our way to Carry Manor, we say hi to Edgy and grab a somber stone for. Apparently I've been saying his name wrong the whole time. It's not Edgy, it's Edgy because of Gaelic or whatever. Anyway, Edgy time over. Let's run up Carry a Manor. Loretta is annoying. I'm trying to bait her onto the grass, but she just wants to hang out on the... Beep.
No, we need milk, not water. Talk to Ronnie, go back to the hole, get the mimic ashes since, uh, no shame, win game, less pain. Get the knife for Ronnie, trade it for the statue, head to the incel river main, say hi to Phalanx Demon's Holes, get these somber seven and six we need, then hit the Lake of Rot. It's a pool of brutal red sauce that slowly burns your insides out with your movement. And doesn't that sound familiar? Estelle time. Hey, Elden Ring, can we fight a boss without a big pile of water on the ground? Guess not. It's kind of hard to get in with Catch Flame on the pincers, and it's hard to flame sling because it doesn't hit the giant space cockroach without whiffing. It gets so bad we run out of magic. Uh, I guess let's make a space roach kebab? We switch back to the plus zero short spear. We have not invested in any stats for it. This is going to be bad. Oh, no, wait, no. It's a weapon. Never mind. We'll use the OP short spear technique where you can attack with enough time to press circle for when the boss attacks you. Oh, that's really good. DJ Khaled is in this game. He's just called Boggart. But much like DJ Khaled, Boggart can't handle the heat. I just wanna be clear, I ain't give up because you, did, you did kind of did. Fun fact, DJ Khaled quit because he only eats home-cooked meals and found out the wings were from a restaurant. Google DJ Khaled won't eat out on your work computer to find out more. It's been a minute since we fought a boss, but after Raya brings us to Hot Sauce Manor, we can fight another one. The Godskin Noble has decent fire resistance and good two-lock hitting ability. I'm bad at dodging the attacks today, almost like there's some sort of pressure hanging over my head. Rollouts aren't good, but we do be living it. Souse it up and then we gotta fight the gargoyle. Fighting them is not ideal. They are very good at killing me. But the other path to the deep root is through the sewer, which has a bunch of gravity. Then you fight sewer mode, who has 80% fire resistance. And then you fall again. I don't want to do that. Instead, we're going to fight small legs on... Big, 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 big water. Seriously, we make big explosions with our hands. How are we whiffing? Add the sauce while we go up the waterfall. Burn some ants next. You don't need a magnifying glass. If you put Apollo sauce on an ant, it will die. I don't have to test run that. Their antennae will melt and the queen back in the hive is gonna die from sympathy pain. It's not nice, but it is. Now we can hit the Fiat champs and totally cook the first two. Two Sean Evanses is much better than one. It's like a double dab. We haven't totally upgraded them, so they do eat it and then Lionel has better spice tolerance. I like the spice. I crank it. Not too much though, a little overconfident, and we get him to burn. Then we can add a spoonful of spice. One might say a loving spoonful, right before the capital. Hot town, summer in the city, back of my neck getting dirt and gritty. So that song's by a band called The Loving Spoonful. You might not get it, but your grandparents would love that joke. After you explain what Elden Ring is and what Hot Ones is and probably what YouTube is to them. Erdtree Avatar gets roasted, negative 40% fire resistance. He really didn't stand a chance. Scoop up the Lionel set. Eventually we're gonna have room to invest in endurance. Makes sense if we're on a diet of chicken wings that we're gonna get a little bit of a belly. Nothing wrong with that. We're just insulating against the heat. The Grave Warden Duelists are a bit too hot to handle, so let's just run past them and grab the ritual shield talisman then bail just because the godfrey shade can't bleed doesn't mean it can't burn you can't eat a ghost oh really tell that to pac-man spice him dice him then bite him and we didn't actually bite him could have gotten the dragon maw if we wanted to do that more got next and he has acid reflux relatable both me and mango dabble in the spicy esophagus territory weirdly i don't notice a damage decrease when he covers the ground in puke i know it boosts lightning damage but it should count as big 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 pukey weird I'll take the free win though. Save time by adding your hot sauce on the elevator up to the four Biden lands. Very cool that the only two people we can vote for next November would fall over if they even had a whiff of Tabasco. Mountaintops of the Giants next will ignore Realis, even if that frost breath might cool us down. Just kidding. Seriously, when was the last time we ate a wing? Knight's Cavalry failure? This is gonna be fine. Sorry, it's obviously a boring video. Who would want to watch someone just enjoy Elden Ring? Too bad I'm not gonna die ever again. Fire Giant time. He doesn't have as much fire resistance as you might think. Only 50 it's not ideal, but it's not that high, I thought. Until I got into the fight, and remember, this guy has an unreasonably large health bar. Seriously, what are you eating up here, my guy? In phase one, we get domed really hard. Phase two, I start aiming for the hand, then go for the thigh, and oh my god, his thigh can't be cooked. I feel like the open wound should be a weak point. Hello, anyone remember the adjudicator? Ser seriously, does, uh, does anyone remember the adjudicator? 
Anyway, we get c -c -c comboed by two balls and almost die. It's all good though. We have enough juice to heal up, except I forgot to save some juice for Torrent, which means we now have to fight the fire giant without a horse and with very little damage. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe we can get the Reduvia in here and finish him off with a bleed. Oof, got hit a little bit while menuing and then killed a second later. Um, how much sauce have we added? I'm sure it's not going to be that bad. I, <laughs> I can't do that again. So let's get a different tool for fighting fire giant, lightning. Lightning doesn't fit the theme of the run. Are you sure? Lightning could get hotter than the surface of the sun. That's almost half as hot as this fucking sauce I'm putting into my body. The dog will make me feel better. Probably rubs my belly a little bit. My guts are going nuts. But more importantly, we get the lightning spear spell. It's the best lightning spell we can get for like two minutes. Lightning on the toes does work. Wow, mixing shock play and foot stuff? We're really exploring aspects of ourselves today. Until we run out of magic. Then we have to get the best red sauce. Blood. In phase two. It's the same backup plan we had last time, but it's worth noting this is not upgraded and we have barely hit the arcane requirements because of Godric's great rune. If I had a nickel for every time we ran out of mana against a high level boss and ended up killing it with an unupgraded weapon with bleed proc this run, I'd have two nickels and I'd swallow them because it can't make my throat feel worse than it currently does. The strategy pays off. Now Melina wants to be in an episode of Hot Ones, and we add a little more sauce. Crumbling for Amazula time, we get the Ancient Dragon Prayer Book, then immediately bring it to the Dog Pope for Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike. Well, Phil, seems like you love using spells. And like, technically? Three spells does count as plural, but three casts does not make up for the bevy of filler crap that are the majority of spells. Godskin duo time, we snipe one from a distance with lightning spear because I'm a coward and need to give my mouth a little time to cool down. Then we hit the big boy with the big lightning from behind. With a huge AoE, it hits the big boy a lot and might even spread out far enough to hit the skinny. We roast the chunky, then another skinny comes in, but he summons a chunky right away as I was charging a big lightning strike. Okay, thanks. That'll do. Swag jump time. Add some sauce before that bird run and then just throw bolts of lightning at the birds. It's super effective. Hey, we have the big ADLS. Let's hit the lightning dragon. We missed it by this much. I mean, still finished it off. It just would have been cooler to do it with a one shot. Still get the somber time. Now, how to beat the draconic spicy sentinel? Oh! Skip. Oh, I can just run. Malaketh time. I don't plan to die, so it's fine that the spicy sentinel is outside. But somehow our ADLS RNG is way off. Sorry, that's a lot of acronyms. ADLS RNG stands for all these lightnings suck right now. God dang it. How are we missing the giant dog with giant lightning? It's like throwing a semi truck and an elephant down a tunnel and seeing them both pop out the other side unscathed. Wow. That's a good sentence. I guess it makes sense that the clergyman is the favorite of RNG Jesus. When was the last time I went to RNG Mass? RNG Jesus just don't want me for a sunbeam because even when Gideon is standing still monologuing, we miss. Come on, like really? Lightning Spear is pretty great at hitting NPCs. If you don't charge it, they don't roll. And if they don't roll, they die. Free. And that makes sense. If you fed this sauce to a guy Gideon's age, they'd be joining Kissinger in the bad place. God, what a great week. Anyway, Godfrey time. And the trend continues. Big boss, bad hit with ADLS, at least in phase one. But when we hit phase two, we just instantly send him to phase 2.5. He wants to do the big earthquake? We just get a little wind blast. But Lightning Spear can get him over the earthquake. Wait, Electric was super effective against the ground type? What is going on? Sauce it up. Now we'll boss it up on the final boss. It's actually not the final boss, but it's weak to fire, Radagon. And the Elden Beast, one thing at a time. Catch Flame is actually a really fun way to fight Radagon. 99% of spells, Radagon will just catch and throw lasers at you like an Uno reverse card. But Catch Flame, Carrion Slicer, and Beast Sling are fast enough not to be parried. And of those three, only Catch Flame hits his 0% fire resistance. The first half of the fight goes really well, but then he turns the aggression dial up until he cranks it off the speaker. And when Radagon starts cranking it, nobody's safe. We gotta make sure he finishes quickly. Moving into the Elden Beast, it's time for some more. Cool, clear water.
Uh, Elden Ring devs, you put so many bosses in this game that hang out on giant lakes. I ran out of needle drops from a song where the chorus is just dinosaurs repeating the phrase big, 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 big water. You did it too many times. It only puts the beast at a total of 10% fire resistance, but big bodies and bigger bodies of water are what ADLS was built for. RIP Elden Beast, we'll pour some out for you. But we saved the hardest bosses for last, Placidious Axe. Reichard, Moog, and of course, Lord of the Waterfowl Wings herself, Melania. We're not done eating wings, and they're only getting hotter. Y'all, I haven't done a single dab joke, not in the script, not in the stream, that's self-control. That's what I'm all about. Time for Placidious Sauce, who doesn't even have that much lightning resistance despite being a giant fucking lightning dragon. Also, his head is super sensitive. Normally, you can't lock onto it. But with faith in RNGesus Jesus and ADLS, all things are possible. So jot that down. Once we get the stance break, we can fully charge it up. This one wasn't actually all that hard. Quit out at the study hall to avoid the Preceptor, but gravity does a bunch of damage and we almost slip off to our doom or more accurately, my mouth's doom. I'm still reeling from the fire giant sauce at this point. After grabbing the curse mark of death, I need a hug or two. Yeah, two, just to be safe. Fortis Axe is the dragon with actual lightning resistance, though their head is extra sensitive. Our rolls are worse here. We're just not hitting the head a lot, so it's kind of tickling them until it's not and they die. Here's how you fix RNG. Roll more time. Castle Soul and hey gamers, you know why you invest in Vigor? Because sometimes a Banished Knight hits you with the you can't move combo. If you have Vigor, you don't die, you live. Living is cool, especially when every death makes you eat what the FDA has declared not technically poison. Nile goes nice and clean. We fix the gank up a little bit with the Mimic, and once that's over, it's time for movement. Little big lightning, little, little lightning as we hang back. But hanging back, that's weak. Hot sauce him in the face. Roll through the hit. Hot sauce him again. Jump the lightning. Hot sauce. Leave that mimic alone. You and me are fighting. Get back over here. Then take some more hot sauce. I'm hitting him so regularly, we get stance breaks with spells. It's like stance breaking someone with a dagger. God, that's clean. Next boss takes a little longer to get to, but we can make it fast for all of you. Overkill the perfumer with the big lightning. Kill the old man with a bit of catch flame. Look, he's not doing so hot already. Hidden path time, consecrated snowfield. Anastia spawns in. For a second, I forgot that we can just hit the NPCs with Lightning Spear Uncharged. Whoops. Remembered that for the Penguin Noble, so it works great. Now we're in Mogwin, and oh, I didn't max the seal out yet? Well, now I remembered. Go through the spooky cave, and I'm heading into Mog without the Eleonora tier. It's not because I really needed both pieces of the hot sauce mixture and the Physic Flask. It's not because I'm overconfident. It's because, uh... I forgot. That's fine. Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike is pretty good in phase one. It does enough damage to make him start counting. Is he counting how many times we cast the lightning? I don't know. I don't speak Latin. In phase two, he gets big wings that have big hurt boxes. So yeah, I drink some flasks during the transition, but I'm rewarded with the big ouchie. Gotta get a little close. Close only counts in horseshoes, hand grenades, and glens. Liturgical Town has gotten us sniped more than a few times, so let's snipe that sniper. Our sniper doesn't do enough damage and slightly pushes her out of range of the spear. Uh-oh. Here's the funny thing. By the time we get up to the roof, she's facing the wrong way. Very funny. Also funny, we can hit the Black Knife Assassin from the roof. It might be invisible, but it can't jump. Halig Tree Branches run down. Avoid the bubbles. Who's hungry? <laughs> How did I live that? I could feel my mouth watering, not because I wanted to eat. It was a protective coating. Snail gets sniped, swag gets jumped, and it's Loretta time. She's not on water anymore, so let's get things cooking and see what hot horse tastes like. Literally just, I don't know, we haven't used Catch Flame in a while. She's actually weaker to lightning. This could have gone even better. Add some sauce on the elevator, run through that really safe path of LFL, then scoot down the waterfall while sniping the bugs with lightning spear so they can't jump on us. Then we'll snipe more bugs with lightning, and now we'll fight Melania and try it without the Spirit Ash. That might not be a great idea, but uh... Fuck it, it's fine. The fire does solid damage. She's got 0% fire resistance as long as she's not standing on the... Beep, 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 wire. Okay, good. 
good news everyone they did a callback to big water and one of the land before times that came out after i stopped watching them first attempt we do pretty well get her into phase two then run out of blue sauce have to quit it's not an l we just you know couldn't do it so it's a strategic retreat i'm going right back in with another blue flask i mean we could get burst down super fast and have to eat another wing with 33 blasts of the hottest hot sauce ever but uh fuck it it's fine i'm just gonna be smarter here to conserve magic we're only gonna hit her with fire when she's not on the water then use lightning when she is on the water when she'll have zero lightning resistance because water makes you resist lightning less but my dodges got worse and every time she hits us we have to hit even more drags the fight out and despite having another blue flask we're actually doing worse we have to tactically retreat again we just need the best fire spell in the game not a spell respec with Renala for more strength then we'll go fight Rikard. i think we would be fine with our chunky weapon and ancient dragon lightning strike but we're also fine with the serpent hunter i don't want to stand in a bunch of lava that would make my feet hot my mouth is already hot enough my stomach is turning the mixture of heat from the fire giant wing and the stress of knowing we are 11 dabs hotter than we were when we ate that wing is swirling inside of me yeah easy time with the serpent hunter but i guess i was hungry because i ate the boss's hole silly me we can fix it up by knocking down a turtle in the weeping peninsula then make another one and go back for the blasphemous blade leveling it up doesn't even take very long buy a somber from edging get the seven from the mountaintop bug an eight from the lobster on the lake in the mountaintops and a nine in the dragon barrel easy but not as easy as fighting Melania with the Blasphemous Blade and a Mimic. Because why not? We have 60 Vigor. This heals us 30% of our max HP every time we make an explosion, so we don't even have to heal off the damage we take from summoning the Mimic tier. It also does amazing damage. Has amazing stance pressure. Knocks Melania over. And stretches out far enough that we can outrun the Waterfowl Dance. The Mimic isn't here to make this safe. When we did the Spirit Ash Nuzlocke and we couldn't beat Melania, I came back and just beat her with Taker's Flames without even trying to show off that Spirit Ashes are not the strongest thing in the game. There's so many other factors in this game that also can make it easier. Spirit Ashes are just like another thing you do. The only reason I summon the Mimic is to make this faster. It takes less than two minutes. We only ate four wings and that's not very fun. Okay, let's fix that. Dump the entire bottle into the buffalo. Feel those dabs you added were too small. Yeah, I could maybe shake one more drop out of this bottle at this point. Let's try it. It's going to feel like your mouth's on fire. It's gonna feel like your body's on fire. All right, I'm gonna try and explain this experience to you. Right away, it feels hot. Then it builds slowly and then it ramps up really goddamn fast after a few seconds your mouth starts salivating to fix it but the saliva betrays you it just turns into hotter hot sauce and it all gets hotter as you suck in air to speak because you're streaming on twitch and you can follow me on twitch please oh yeah believe it or not playing as safely as possible resulted in a really solid build if you care about that 35 bosses three deaths and six hours and two minutes in in-game time fire is a really great element and if you invest in catch flame it's a really great option for fire damage definitely on the cast list get some lightning for damage variety as a backup then swap to the big lightning at the end for big bosses and you're set this is second place from number one runs we've ever done right behind the platinum trophy speed run now would i recommend this sauce absolutely but like way back where it was against the knight's cavalry thinned out with a lot of other sauce if you put a couple of shakes of this into the cheese sauce you're using for like a mac and cheese or a buffalo sauce that you're using for wings obviously it's very very good but even at the fire giant level, this was bananas spicy. Like my mouth hurt from that point on and didn't stop hurting. After the final wing, I was burning for like a solid hour, really rough stuff. For the TMI people, yes, it also hurts coming out. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. This one was really fun, but also really painful. If we can hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year, that would also be really fun. And I'll eat more of the hot sauce to make it even more painful. Join the Patreon if you want to support the channel. There's lots of exclusive videos over there as well. And follow me on Twitch to watch these runs live. We have a lot of fun in the chat, and uh, we do a lot of suffering over there.